So if you look at states like in pre-colonial um, Nigeria, for example, they had um, ethnic groups or tribes, you might call them, such as the Igbo, the Tiv, and the Izon. These were societies which didn't have a specific leader. But what they had were clans and groups of clans. Groups of, of clans would make up the tribe. And the decision-making processes, they would come together as a clan, and the clan heads would decide on the way forward in whatever matter that it might be. Um, this is also a similar situation in North America before the Europeans arrived. There were many, quite a number of tribes which were what you would, we would call stateless societies. These are societies without a specific leader. And the clans again would come together to make um, group decisions about the tribe. And it's one of the issues that um, disturbed the colonialists when they entered Africa, particularly regions like Nigeria, when they wanted to negotiate or um, talk with a particular tribe. They were looking to talk with that one, uh, one single head of the, of the society or one single leader, but they found they had to go and negotiate with several leaders, several clan leaders, or various um, communities in the one society rather than just speaking to one leader. So what they did in the future, in fact, later on was in the, during the colonial period, when the, after they had colonized the regions, is create leaders in their society. So what you might find now where certain tribes or cultural groups on the continent uh, prior before didn't have a leader. Now they seem to have leaders, seem to have a king or a chief, whereas in pre-colonial times, those societies didn't have a particular leader. It's a system created by the colonialists when they colonized those regions. This concept that um, a state without a specific leader is not a properly organized state is one of the notions that um, the Europeans have, not just on a state level, but on the international level. For example, if states come together to agree um, form some kind of coalition or uh, some form of grouping, those groupings are still not looked as on as, as organized properly in the European mindset.